So this is an optional unit. I want you to program what you just learned in the previous units. And to me, this is an enormous amount of fun. It's challenging, especially if you don't have programming experience. But it's also the moment where you can really exercise and deeply understand some of the very basic concepts we talked about before. And of course, these concepts weren't particularly hard. Really important, this is optional. This is not required for completing the class. It's really uh, just a fun exercise, uh, so feel free to go to the next unit if you don't want to program. So in the first exercise, we will calculate the mean of data. So we'll define what mean means. This means define mean, and mean is computed of something, so it's computed of data. And there's this funny notion of a return where you put the mathematical expression for the mean. So when you want to print, say, the mean of this specific data set here, let's call this data1 you would say print mean of data1. Now this is a little bit more complicated uh, than the kind of structures we did before. I'm actually defining what's called a function. And the reason why I do this is that allows us to test your function with different data examples to make sure it's really correct. But the key thing is you have to uh, return the correct thing over here. And i give you a hint. In Python, there are special commands. One is called sum, sum applied to a list like this one over here, gives you the sum of all the elements. So in this case, sum of data should give you the sum of those numbers over here, which will be 2 if you add them all up. The other convenient function that, that is part of the programming system of Python that you should just know it exists is called len, short for length. How long is this thing? This thing here has five elements, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so that'll give you 5. So let's dive in. Here's our programming environment with a data sequence. And I'm setting up the mean function right over here. You are to return something. This is where you put your code. And then for testing, I just say, let's run this function and print out what it returns. That's the syntax. So let me give an example. Suppose you put a, a fixed value over here, like 12 in this case. And now you hit the Run button. Then the output would be 12, which is not the correct answer. But you can play with that. If you say return sum of data, which is the command I've just given you, and hit the Run button, then for this specific data sequence, you get 816.0 as the answer. Now the job is yours to plug in the right answer over here. 